What is up, scent heads, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and today we got the duo that started it all. That's coming up next, and this is oh so fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing. Oh, yeah. And hitting me decent down on my notification bell in. That lets you know when I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today, as you saw from the intro, we have a legend in the building. We have the granddaddy of all fragrances in Dua. We have the OG of the OG of the OG. The fragrance that I'm talking about is the one that built the house of Dua. It's the one that started it all. It was their most popular fragrance for a long time until a couple of others came out. But this one garnered everybody's respect. It garnered everybody's attention because it is a masterpiece. It is a classic. And in my books, it is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. It is masculine all the way, but it smells phenomenal. Gets you a ton of compliments. It's been out for a very long time, obviously, because this is the one that started it all. The fragrance that I'm referring to, the Mobster. Now, I'm sure most everybody watching this, if you've been around Dua for some time, you've heard whispers of Mobster, right? Now, this is not to be confused with the other Mobster. This is the original blend from Sam himself from Dua. There's also another series of Mobster that's from Roja Parfums Enigma. This is not that. This is one that Sam created himself with his genius mind. And a lot of things spawned off of it, a lot of flankers, and a lot of people have tried to recreate this and to no success and to no avail. This thing still, when you see the glimmer of the gold cap and you see the retro bottle with the notes on the back, it just screams to you vintage, it screams to you power, it screams to you the origination of Dua Power, the origination of Dua itself. This is the one where if this did not come out and he did not think of this fragrance, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you guys about my favorite house. But let me shut up and get to why you guys all came here and get to the scent breakdown. All right, I got the granddaddy of them all, the mobster. And of course, my handy dandy fresh strip. And we're gonna let the mobster go on a little killing spree. <laughs> the OG sprayers, you gotta love them. That thing completely soaked this paper. Ah, brings you back, doesn't it? This, surprisingly enough, opens up with oud. I know what you're thinking. It's disgusting, it's gross. Shut up, okay? This is the ultimate high quality agarwood. Oud, you get a fantastic sweet tobacco, ultra high quality. You can just tell that this is made with high quality tobacco. The best oud that you can purchase is in this because there's no harshness. There's no synthetic that you can smell. It's just phenomenal. It's very upfront masculine. So this definitely is not for the ladies, at least in my opinion, but let's get back to the breakdown. Also rushing in here, a good amount of spices. I can smell different types of cinnamons and things like that that just come in here and lend a little bit more depth, a little bit more dynamic to this fragrance. Not that it needs it. This is not a very note laden scent at all. Actually, it is very thin, at least when it has, but you can pick out each fragrance and you don't have to be a professional to do it. When you put it to your nose, immediately you can smell the agar wood, you can smell the tobacco right off of the bat, and you can pick up spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, things like that. This is definitely not one of those holiday scents, but you can pick up different spices in there. When you get to the mid, of course, the fantastic high quality single malt whiskey. You pick it up, boozy. The cigar smell is in the air, right? From the tobacco, that agar wood is lending some good strong depth to it. But the whiskey's in here, 
this is definitely the type you put in the high ball, and I've said it before, the round glass, right, that barely has a bottom. You just put just enough in there, swirl it, and you take a sip, and the whole time you got a fat cigar in your mouth, you're just lounging back. You're in a nice, thick, cushioned leather couch. Smoke is in the air. Possibly there's poker chips, maybe a gun or two. I'm not sure. I'm not there. I'm just telling you what I kind of envision. That's what this invokes to me. It's called the mobster for a reason. You just think of that in your head. Just a guy in a pinstripe suit, pretty decent build on him. He's very masculine. He knows what he wants. He goes after it and he gets it. He enjoys the finer things. He has the best cigar that you can smoke. He has the best whiskey that you can drink. You sip it, no ice in this whatsoever. Just ultra high quality. He smells good. If a mobster was to wear a fragrance, I think it would definitely be this. This gets out there. It pleases a lot of people, but it tells you exactly where you're going. I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be upfront. I'm gonna be honest. My word is my bond. My word that this is a phenomenal scent. Of course, this baby's on skin. The dry down, the most incredible sandalwood. Very, very creamy. It has some type of a vanilla type vibe, but there's no vanilla in this. It just comes off very creamy, a little bit sweet. The tobacco is still in here. It's coming up. And like I said, it gives off a gorgeous smoke in the air. It is very nice. More of those spices are here. And of course, that agarwood is sitting there. And this is the fragrance that initially gave the very first dosing of Vifragra. It's here. This is a 10 hour plus beast as it is. And it's also helped with some more patchouli. So this thing is just thick with every type of note that you could wish. You got sweetness, you got manly tobacco, you got spices, and of course you got wood and patchouli. And you can pick out each and every fragrance and you can smell it from the opening to the dry down. You can pick it out and you can see this thing develop and change into what I think is a beautiful, classic, perfectly crafted scent. Now. Where to use this complements longevity. This is a cooler weather fragrance, absolutely. Don't put this in the heat, it is not designed for that. This is cooler months. This is for literally lounging around, smoking your cigar. If you're around your friends, this is going to be a phenomenal scent. This is going out for dates. This is cooler weather. Fall, you're gonna be just fine as long as it doesn't get super hot or you're not in direct sun just beating you. This will be absolutely perfect. This will put you in a very good spot. People are going to smell it. They're gonna ask what it is and they're going to demand your attention because this will get that attention. This fragrance is perfect, perfect, perfect in all aspects. You look at longevity, it lasts forever. The perfect combination and the silhouette of this fragrance, if you will, if I was to rate it as a woman, is a perfect silhouette. It starts very nice in the head. The heart is amazing. The base is perfect, strong, but not overpowering, anything nasty. Beautiful scent while being extremely masculine and straightforward. Now, that being said, I do think that this is a man's fragrance. But as I always say with women, wear what you love, love what you wear. If you wore tobacco, if you wore boozy scents, if you're not afraid of a little bit of oud, this will be okay for you. I try to give the best impression that I can. I will say up front, like I said, this is a masculine fragrance, but I know some women are perfectly fine with tobacco and booze. In that case, go ahead and rock it. I know it's been out of stock for a long time. I think he's working on getting this baby back because it is due back. It needs to come back. It is amazing. But I just wanted to share the OG of the OGs with you guys and you girls because you deserve to know the history of Dua and the one that I think is the OG, and you have to show homage to the OGs, and that's this one here. So for this phenomenal scent, the mobster, that's all I have. Till I come to you again, I love you guys so much. Be blessed. Stay fresh.
Yeah.